Hey guys, the look, so I'm going to show you how I collect my god charms. Um, I'm going to show you three cre color three creatures which I kill. Um, Dragoneth, Fire Giants, and Ice Warriors. Um, so yeah, starting off um, for Dragoneth, we need melee equipment, food, and I take a superset to make equipment. To get, we're going to kill them in the lighthouse, you need to have done Horror from the Deep. So to get there, you just rub your game's necklace, go to um, the Barbarian Outpost, And then you just run north and cross the stepping stones. Seeing as I've got a lot to cover, I need to try and shorten um, the video by as much as I can. So I'm going to continue it when I get there. So see you in a sec. Okay, guys, so I just crossed the um, basalt rocks and now I'm just at the lighthouse. So you just go in, go down to the bottom. There. Yeah. Um, I pop up before I go in just to be. just Yeah, so I potted. You just climb through this door, door, strange wall thing, um, down the ladder. This place is very full, so yeah. Uh, so I'm just gonna kill like three of them just to show you what they drop. Okay. So yeah, lag. Okay. No, no charm. They drop charms quite often. There's level 74 and 92 ones. Um, I would say that this, uh, these are good, uh, good XP and okay charm droppers. Suck. Okay. So yeah. Um go charm, yeah, so they drop charms quite a lot. Um I believe that the level ninety two ones drop them more frequently, but I'm not hundred percent sure on that. I tend to get more of them or at least I think I do from silence. So yeah. Um so I'm gonna move on to the next creature which is um going to be Fire giant, so I will see you later once I go to Ardy to kill them. Okay, bye. Okay, so the second creature we're going to be killing is fire giants. Um, you want melee equipment, you want food. I bring a super set just to make it quicker. So the ones we're killing, you need to bring a rope and a gladiolus amulet. You also need to complete um, the waterfall quest. Um, there is another place you can find these if you haven't done that quest. Yeah, I'll just show them up. If you um, start in RD, go down to take the boat from here. You end up here. Just go south from Brookhaven into this dungeon. Then you come into here. You just go um, west. Um, cut. You need to bring an axe instead of the rope and a thousand gold instead of the amulet. And you cut through the vines. Take the um, northwest passage. You should come to some lava with a agility obstacle. You cross that. Then you just go south, and then they're just there. Yeah. Um, yeah. The ones we're going to be killing are um, north of the Baxterian Falls, which is just here. I'm going to start the video again when I get up to here. Okay. So all we have to do is run northwest. Up to the yeah okay see you in a sec okay so now that you're here um up here um, making sure you have your rope and your gladrials pendant amulet sorry um you just run through this house you, I put my amulet on here just so I don't forget you um, board the log raft you then use your rope on the rock. Don't swim to it or you'll fall down and get hurt. You then use your um, rope on this dead tree. And then you open ledge to go in. Now the path with the fire giants on, well there are two. The north path is the one which is generally much used for melee. The north West one is the one which is used for range. You can range here, there are safe spots, but I prefer not to because it takes so much longer because of my max melee, well, not quite max, but get in there. So they're relatively easy to kill, they're level 86, and they have very good drops. They can drop them. Um, rune scimitars, rune square shields, they have very high half key drop rates. They drop um, dragon left half, dragon shield left half, sorry. Um, yeah. So I'll just kill a couple and see what the drops are, I guess.
Um, they don't hit often, but yeah. I don't can't be bothered to put it. When you get in, you can take off the Gladio's amulet. If you don't have it equipped and you try and go in, you'll get um, washed away from the um, cave. Yeah, these are good XP and, as I said, great money. Um, if you feel like doing lots of trips, I guess you could sell the big bones. They're like 188 gold each. Um, you shouldn't really need monkfish, but I just didn't have any other food. You could probably do this with trout and salmon. You wouldn't last, obviously, as long. See the um, drop charm most of the time. Um, from a sled task of about 160, I tend to get about 90, between 90 and 100 gold charms. Um, yeah, they drop a lot of coins too, but they do also drop the other charms, not too rarely. So yeah, I'm going to move on to the next creature, which I guess will be Ice Warriors. Okay, so now I'm in Falador, which is closest to the Ice Warriors. Um, there are a few locations where they can be found. Um, they can be found um, in this dungeon, which is what I'm going to show you. Um, they can also be found in the Chaos Tunnels. I um, think. Um, I can't remember where they are exactly. <laughs> Oh yeah, they're up here next to the ice giants, which I guess you could um, come through from stealing creation entrance and just um, go through to them somehow, I guess. I'm not very good with the kill tunnels. Um, they can be found um, up in like level 50 wilderness, just in a frozen waste plateau. I don't advise you use that place unless you want to teleport there for some reason, but yeah, got to watch out for revenants up there in the wilderness, remember? Um, yeah, so I will, uh, take just to load. Okay, now I'll continue when I get to here, okay? So yeah, see you in a minute. Okay, so now we're here. I'm going to show you the way through this dungeon. Oh yeah, I just wanted to go through the outfit, okay? Um, you need the melee. Defense armor again, exactly the same. I wouldn't bother with the Ring of Wealth because we're here for charms and not for loot. I wouldn't kill these if you were after loot because they aren't really worth it. If you wanted loot, I would go kill fire giants if you can handle them. Or, yeah, I mean for charms and loot. There are um, ice giants here too, which are annoying, but they drop charms quite frequently, I guess, as well. Okay, so I'm just gonna kill a couple of these. See how frequently they drop charms. I'm gonna park because this is taking a long time. There we go, that's a bit better. Okay, now uh, coins. Oh, yeah, um, don't go through that hole unless you want to die because. Or unless you know what you're doing, there's um, skeletal worms in there which can hit the odd 50 and you put out the elemental shield or dragon flat shield. Oh, there we go, called charm. Just, yeah. Again, I wouldn't bother taking monk fish unless you um, plan on staying for a long time or really can't be bothered to take the long trip back. It's not that long, but yeah. There we go, another gold charm. So yeah, I'm just going to kill the ice giant for the hell of that. <laughs> they're level um, 57, which means that they're a lot weaker than the other two that I've shown you. And they are about the same rate of charm drop. But yeah. See these drop charms relatively commonly as well. So yeah. Um, yeah. I believe you can get these as a Slayer assignment as well. If you've got them as a Slayer assignment, I would do them if you're after Charles from Slayer. Um, I believe the um, Slayer Master and Edge Bill gives them to you as a task. So, yeah. Okay, so thanks for watching my charm guide. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And, um, yeah, that's it. Okay, well, thanks and bye.